Hello, I'm the Impish Scribe. I'm going to talk you through how to make proper chilli and rice. Because if there's one thing that's really needed, it's yet another gringo telling us how to cook our own darn food. So look, there's like some of the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need two chicken stock cubes. Sorry, vegans. I mean, you can use vegetarian if need be. You're going to need at least two to three garlic cloves. Look, there's an onion. Brown or white is fine. Uh, you're going to need a heaped teaspoon. Look, look! That's um, paprika and that's um, oregano. If you've got fresh, even better. Um, but if you've got dried stuff, that's all right. You need two red peppers, two carrots. Um, you also need this, ginger. Is that a thumb-sized amount? I mean, that's a thumb, right? Yeah. Um, you're also gonna need a knife to cut it all up with. Um, that's oil. Um, that's oil that's been blended with chilies. Um, yeah, oh, this is a pestle and mortar, and in there is green and white peppercorns. If you've got green and white pepper, that's great. If not, and you've got um, ground black pepper, that's absolutely fine. I just, yeah. You're also going to need this, which is what can be best described as a cross between a frying pan and a large saucepan. See? Yeah, you know what I mean. You do, right? Look, it's got a lid and everything. And uh, something to stir with. A bowl to wash the rice with is a good thing. First things first, wash your hands. Because COVID. Once you've done that, don't forget to pour yourself a delicious glass of... Water. Time to choose what banger to play. That's banger in terms of, like, music. Not an actual banger in the colloquialism of a sausage. Oh, for copyright reasons, I probably can't have the banger I'd like to play in the background because copyright. Ensure your mug is in the most lefty-leaning mug you can possibly find. Not essential, but... Time to wash the rice. No, not like that! Add hot water so it swills about when absorbs all the starch and um yes that's how you wash the rice i didn't mention what kind of rice you need um long grain jasmine easy cook is fine yeah you can watch look it's, water's getting starchy some people call this tickling the rice look water's getting starchy do this about three times until the water's kind of clear. Pour the oil into the frying pan meat saucepan on steroids. It just means there's a bit more space on the cutting board, right? You can't pour from a bottle these days, you've got to pour from a bowl. Hmm. Or some kind of receptacle. This is roughly a heat teaspoon each of oregano and paprika. I can't remember whether it was smoked or sweet, but you get the idea. Paprika is a good thing to add. Tip it in. Go on. That's it. Don't be afraid. Ah, stuck a bit. Ugh. Bit like all of us this year. Stuck. Yeah. Time to chop up the garlic and ginger. Peel the garlic. I don't peel the ginger. I don't know what that's all about, but yeah, ginger skin is fine. Chop up the ginger. Oh, look, it's chopped. What a miracle. Grind up the peppercorns if you're doing it that way, but if you have it already ground, that's fine. Which is what I'm going to do, is in grind these peppercorns. Chop up the carrot into slices and then quarter each slice. Looks pretty, right? Cut the pepper into strips and then, like, quarter them? Yeah, I mean, you can say. Yeah, you get the idea, right? Time for the onion business. Chopped onions, and now the fun begins. Heat the oil and then... Add in the garlic and ginger. Yeah, all of it. No skimping. Look! Mmm. Give it a little stir. Mmm. Smell. Mmm. But, like, 
get it cooked gently and then of the onions and let the onions sizzle in that paprika-y, oregano-y, ginger-y, garlic-y goodness all together like a big melting pot of lusciousness. Stick a lid on it and let it simmer gently over a low to medium heat. When it's kind of like yeah, translucent-y in the search without any sense of ceremony, add the carrots and the peppers. I know they're looking like really red, but yes. Stir and simmer. Use your sense of judgment. It's okay. You, you have judgment. You're not stupid. Trust yourself. Add the rice. The washed rice, that is. And the soak free rice. Um, add squished up bits of the stock cube. Yeah, the two of them. Yeah. You don't need to add salt by the way. There's salt in the stock cubes. Come on. Stir it about a bit, then um add water. Yeah, if you've got a kettle, boiled water. If you've got a hot tap, yeah, water from the hot tap. Um use your judgment, make sure that the rice is covered. Mmm. Breathe in that luscious smell of like spices and like goodness. And then Put a lid on it and leave it to cook for however long it needs to cook for, is in the packet rice instructions. Mine said 15 minutes, so it's going to take about 15 minutes, isn't it? Low to medium heat, lid on. No, you really don't need to add any more salt to it, or indeed any. Arrosy. Oof. Arrosy polo, I ask you. It's arroz y pollo, by the by. If you want, I could put up a recipe for how to do that at some point. I added the ground pepper at this particular point and not the beginning because I forgot. Obviously, you should add the ground up pepper when you put in the garlic and ginger, but yes. Mmm, look. Sadly, this doesn't come with smell of vision It smells really good, I promise you. But you'll find out for yourself when you cook this, right? Right. Do the washing up while you're waiting. May as well. Check the rice every few minutes just to make sure it's not, you know, overcooking or over sticky or over swampy. 15 minutes later, look, it seems to be cooked. I tasted it. It is cooked. Serve it up in a nice bowl. Or plate if you'd prefer, but I'm going for a bowl because I'm Chilean. No, really, you don't need to add salt. Come on, put the salt away. There's salt in the stock cubes. Come on. This goes really nicely with um, a fried egg or chicken. Sorry, vegans, but yeah, it's it's very nice with chicken. Or you could roast like aubergine or something to go with it. Or you could add some sweetly chopped tomatoes. Um, with a drizzle of olive oil and yeah all right you can add salt to the tomatoes it's fine it's fine and look there you go tomatoes olive oil a little bit of lemon juice yes all right there was some salt there swish it around and then add it on top once the camera's over i'm going to add chicken to this sorry vegans but yes you can have it with tomatoes because that's like vegan but yeah enjoy it um with a glass of whatever you choose I'm going to drink water because that's better for the skin. And that's how you make properly Chilean rice. Um, if you want to hit like, subscribe, that would be lovely as well. Um, I'm also on Instagram as the Impish Scribe. I post questions on stories. Um, yeah, get involved as they say.